I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Gemini, recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. Two of Pentacles. And it's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind. So, you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking, it's not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles in a reading. Yeah. So, you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So, you want to make sure that you're paying attention there. Now, it's with the Four of Wands. So, with the Four of Wands, this often can indicate that you could be thinking about or maybe attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So, go. You'll have a really, really good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well and you'll be proud of yourself. And others will be proud of you also. Now, although this is a positive card in the tarot, it does show that there's a need to keep your wits about you. That although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know that you're still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This Four of Wands can also sometimes mean that you could be thinking about moving or maybe changing your place of residence. So, Gemini, what I'm picking up on for this recent past energy between you and your person is that with the Four of Wands here, it's, it's actually telling me that um, you wanted commitment from this person. Yeah. But the person that you're dealing with, or you were dealing with, they made you feel like they were finding, they were having trouble finding time and energy for this connection. Yeah, because this Two of Pentacles can be about back and forth. It can be about someone that does a lot of juggling. It can be about a two-timer. If that was your person. Maybe they were dealing with more than just you. Yeah, or maybe they were just busy. Yeah, some people have two jobs, go to school at the same time, take care of their parents. But for some of you, this person was a two-timer. For some of you, not all of you. But you were trying to figure out, how do I get commitment out of this person? Yeah, because they just made you feel like you were not on their priority list. The Four of Wands, the card below the word pass, it's, it's actually the marriage and commitment card. Yeah. So, if you weren't trying to get marriage out of them, you were trying to get a long-term commitment. Yeah, but you, the way that they made you feel, um, it's, it's surprising me that you stuck around because Two of Pentacles is just busy, busy, busy. Or just going back and forth between you and someone else. Yeah, so that's a recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see 
what's coming up for the two of you? Okay, so we got the Page of Pentacles, and it's with the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles can be a card about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. So you may want to rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created. Yeah, it can be created. But the Page of Pentacles, just know it's actually, it's actually a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. Because it gives you focus. It gives you backbone. It gives you the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Yeah, so that's the Page of Pentacles. Now it's with this Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that you should look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety and maybe fear could be about money or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key here is actually to try to realize that being anxious and grasping does not bring security. Yeah, because if you take a look at the Four of Pentacles, it's the card below the word present. He's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money. He's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head or his face. And his head looks like it's about to explode. So yeah, unhealthy clinging here. Whenever you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can indicate money, cash, coins, finance. So maybe this person is clinging on to his, his money in an unhealthy way. But coming out, Gemini, page of pinnacles, clarified by this four of pinnacles. So what I'm picking up on here is that, like I said, you you were trying to figure out how do you get commitment out of somebody that doesn't put you on the priority list or makes you feel that way. So, with the Page of Pentacles here, you could start to feel like you're kind of like over it or you're kind of just bored with the shenanigans or just bored with what's going on. But it looks like the Four of Pentacles, yeah, I'm, I'm kidding that they could still be trying to hold on to this connection. Yeah. Or you could be realizing that you're, you're holding on to something that's, that should have been over a long time ago. Yeah, for most, what, what I'm getting mostly is that that's, that's what you're thinking. You should have let this go a long time ago because Four of Pentacles card below the word present, it's, in the, it's indicating unhealthy clinging. So yeah, you, you're waking, coming up, you're waking up. Yeah, you wanted something serious with this person, but they're, they're juggling. They could be a two-timer. You're, you're getting bored with this back and forth, back and forth. And you're realizing that this is unhealthy. It's just making you cuckoo. At least that's how he looks in the picture of the Four of Pentacles. It looks like he, he's going crazy. Trying to hold on to something that, that's all over the place. So yeah, you kind of, you're losing interest. You're getting bored with the whole thing. 
Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now we got the two of swords and it's with the king of pentacles. Now the two of swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going at least somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance, but this will almost certainly require open communication on your part or for, for both of you. Just know nothing changes without effort. Now to the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles speaks of authority, speaks of tradition, and success in money matters. So when this King appears in a reading, it's actually a sign that now is not the time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type, could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. But that could go either way. That could go either way. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can, yes, you can believe and trust. Absolutely. King of Pentacles is a very good energy in the deck. So, the challenge, Gemini, two of swords clarified by this King of Pentacles. So, yeah, your person could be, they could be seeing that you're, you're getting over them with the, two of, with the Page of Pentacles here. Showing that you, you're getting over it, you're just kind of like, like I said, bored with the whole the whole thing, you wanted commitment from this person, but yeah, they make the way they make you, they make you feel some kind of way by them being back and forth and a lot of times making you feel like they're not interested. But the King of Pentacles is here. It's showing that they do want success with you. They want success, but they want to make the connection successful. But it, it looks like a, they're a little bit too late. Because it, it's showing the Two of Swords here. It's showing that you, you, you could be deciding to avoid this person. And you're going to block them. That's what the Two of Swords does. Yeah, you're kind of over it. You're just you're bored with the whole thing. You had enough. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the strength card. And it's with the six of swords. Now with the strength card, it's important to take time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got 19 kids. So do not allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. And I say this because the outward things, they'll be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're doing. Yeah, now it's with the Six of Swords. What the Six of Swords can actually indicate some type of metaphorical movement. Maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better. Whether the context is internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. Now with the Six of Swords, 
there there actually is a slight reduction in stress and strain. Yeah, things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. It's actually a time when you could actually take time to get your head above the water and figure out where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be really helpful. And just know that this does not have to cost money. So your outcome, Gemini, strength card clarified by the Six of Swords. Well, yeah. Like I said, I'm getting um, for your person. Um, it's what is that? How does that song go? Too much, too little, too late. Yeah, they're a little bit too late because. Like I said, you're kind of like over it. You realize that this kind of clinging on to somebody that makes you feel like they don't have time for you. It just made you crazy. You figure you can get, you can get commitment from somewhere else. So it looks like the outcome you, you're taking to yourself. You you could be deciding to. Maybe take take up meditation. You're trying to work on yourself. Become the become a stronger you because the strength card can actually be about self love, unconditional love, self respect. Yeah, you're nurturing yourself and you're trying to be the best that you can be. Yeah. Being strong because this it looks like looking at the four of pentacles, the card below the word present. You just realize how how crazy this connection made you. So you're working on yourself, spending some time alone, and it looks like I'm talking to a lot of smart Gemini's out there because the six of swords. You're understanding the power of. Um, being at peace with yourself and with others. Even people that don't treat you like you think they should. Because you don't want that negative energy to, to eat at your soul. So you could just decide to just be at peace with this person. You don't want any kind of fight or any kind of, kind of blow up. You want to release all the anger that you might have had. So you just, yeah, six of swords, the card below the word outcome. If you take a look at the picture, these two people, they just got out of a storm. Raging waters. And now the waters are still. So they're moving in the calmer waters. And that's all you want, because you realize that you need to work on yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you, you try to Make yourself stronger. Practice self-love. Unconditional love. Self-respect. Because you realize that this was... No one should have made you feel this crazy. Yeah, you must have had a lot of love for this person. Jim and I. Because at one point you were holding on for dear life. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to laugh. Because some people get offended when you laugh. But I'm laughing at the way... That this man is looking in the picture. The card below, put the word present. Yeah, this this person made you feel ooh, like you were not yourself. Just holding on to something that probably wasn't really even worth it. If you look back years from now, you probably realize. It wasn't even worth going crazy trying to hold on to something like that so tight and losing your losing your mind over it, losing sleep over it. But anyways, Jim and I, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I hope it resonates. If I sound sleepy and lazy, I, I am. It's about, it's past midnight here, so I'm just trying to get these readings out. Thanks for hanging in there with me and checking me out. So, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extent of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get these readings, the roles of the people can be switched. I Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.